Today is a quick InDesign tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to put text on the top of a circle as well as on the bottom of the circle. Now this is just a preview for the pop-up planner for the month of May and that will be the Girl Boss business plan. Now as you can see the logo says Girl Boss and it's in a circle so you can create things like this. I actually created this in Photoshop, but you can just as easily do it inside of Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to teach you how to do both of these today. The first thing we're going to do is just create a new document. So we're going to make it a standard eight and a half by 11 inches. I only need one page. And as far as margins, I don't really care because it's just going to be an InDesign tutorial. So let's pull this over here. Oops. And the first thing you need to do is you need to draw a path. So these are circles. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually take this circle and I could make it invisible. So the text is over here and the circle's invisible. Same thing here on the bottom. The only thing is, and people get confused a lot when you see this text tool over here, or the type tool, type on a path won't work unless you have created the path first. So this first step is always to create the path. So we're going to go down here to the ellipse tool. And if sometimes I think de defaulted the rectangle tool is selected. So if you right click on that, it will then uh, give you a drop down list and you can choose the ellipse or the polygon. Um, but we're going to use a circle today. And so I'm just going to draw, I'm going to hold the shift key down so the circle's kind of uh, even, um, not even. What am I trying to say? Concentric? You know what I mean. It is a perfect circle. Uh, and I want to see some color here so you can see the path that we're drawing on. Um, so I'm going to make this top one pink. Oops. I'm going to try to make this top one pink. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to make this, let's see, window preview. There we go. Uh, we're going to take this and we're just going to copy and paste it. Control C and Control V. And I'm going to drop it down here to the bottom. And this one we are going to make blue because um, that's our bottom one. Now here, this is the step now where you're going to go to type on a path tool. So again, right click on this T and you're going to select the second option, type on a path tool. And you're going to see this weird sort of I with a sort of diagonally line through it. And then you're just gonna click on the path. So now you can see the blinking cursor, that's your path. So this is text on the top of the circle. Obviously I can make it something fancier. Um, that's all I did for this, so you could see it. I have so many fonts. Uh, let's just use a plain open sans and let's make it 30 so you can see it. And let's center it. Um, and let's make it pink so it matches. And obviously you probably don't want it there on the right side. So what you can do is once you have that written however you want the words, you can come over here and once you go to the corner, you can see it's going to do this double arrow and you can just turn it so it is kind of where you want it. And just twist it over here. That's still not even. There we go. That's pretty even. Now, maybe you don't want it on the top of the circle. You can go over here to type and go to the, um, the place where it says uh, type on a path. There we go. <laughs> and go to options. And then once you're over here in options, so it's on the baseline, you can change this so it's on the ascender, which means it's underneath, uh, the descender on the top, or center, so it's right on the line, or like it was the default for the baseline. So it doesn't really matter if you're going to make this circle invisible. So if we say none over here, doesn't matter. It only matters if that circle is part of the logo like you have over here. Um, that's the only time it would make a difference. So now over here on the bottom, if you wanted to say text on the bottom, you're going to do pretty much the same thing. You're going to go over here to the type tool. Make sure you select type on a path tool. You're going to select that path and say this is text on this is text on the bottom of the circle. Now, I'm going to select that all. I'm going to change that to open sans as well. 
and I'm going to make that 30 and I'm also going to make it blue so it matches. All right. We obviously don't want the text on the bottom. This is supposed to be text on, or on the top. We want this as te text on the bottom. So we're going to go up here again to type and go to type on a path and go to options. And then inside of here, we're going to click this little button here that says flip. So see that flip over here. Um, obviously, uh, we probably want it to be in the center. So again, we're going to take that tool or that box and just wait till we have those double arrows and then just kind of move it. So it is in the center ish. There we go. So now we have text on the bottom of the circle. And again, same thing as before. If I go over here to the type on a path and I go to options, I can do that A center. So it'll be on the bottom, D center, center. So it's right on the line or baseline. Um, and again, it doesn't really matter if I am going to go ahead and make that invisible. It's just text on a circle. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and remember, we have, are launching the author Girl Boss business plan, which has this little circle logo uh, next week. So that will be Monday, May 25th. So I'll see you guys back here Monday, May 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will be showing you all 100 pages of this business plan template that you can purchase. And I will leave a link to that below.